Citizens' Rights Project uh, brings together a number of NGOs, small community organisations, migrants groups, youth citizens groups and volunteers, lawyers and many other people as well. I'm a lawyer, I'm an advocate, uh, but I'm involved with this very much as someone who is uh, uh, an activist. People have questions about their right to work here, to educate themselves, to access the social security system, housing, uh, voting rights. My base, base main worry is I can't leave even if I'm working there. Uh, because I didn't apply for some things. The biggest worry is that the rights that I have had all my life are being revoked. I won't be able to um, travel abroad with the same um, level of freedom. I won't be able to um, get a job with the same level of certainty that I have been able to do so up to now. My husband is British. So, of course, like we've got two different nationalities and one of the main worries was will we be able to be together anywhere we go that will be a problem. Uh, my disappointment in the vote that happened two and a half years ago has led me to want to take a more active role in related things because I don't like the idea of not being an EU citizen anymore. I think maybe like everyone we still have a lot of questions because it's uncertain and we don't know what's going to happen but at least we've got some yeah, a couple of information of things that we can do just now. I th thought it was really good to get some information all together. Um, up, to, up to this moment, there's not been any indefinite information. It's all been through media, through what people have said. The event was really good. I mean, I had to inform myself before this event, so I came here kind of like knowing many things already, but it was good to hear that at least I haven't misunderstood anything. It's really good to have people who think from the base and explain us what to do. Our message from the Scottish Government to EU citizens living in Scotland is first of all, thank you for doing us the compliment of making Scotland your home. Thank you for the huge contribution you make to our economy, to our public services and to enriching our culture. And we know that this is a uncertain time for you. Uh, we know that Brexit has caused anxiety and it, it's the UK government who, who has responsibility for, for that. We want you to stay and we want you to continue to make the really positive contribution that you make to Scottish society and, and to the Scottish economy and to the benefit of all of Scotland. It is very important for us uh, to engage with uh, local organisations, organisations working with EU citizens in Scotland, as well as link into many different campaigns across the country to ensure that we listen to all of you. And we would like to encourage you to come forward uh, if you would like to volunteer with us and if you have few hours to spare to help us with our campaigning work, please do get in touch. We really need your voice and we really need your help uh, to make this project better. We've been to Shetland, right up in the far north, we've been to Ayr, we've been right around the central belt. And what we're finding is the number of people coming to meetings are getting bigger and bigger because people are really concerned about the future.